here's a copy of the letter that I sent uh, to a governmental institution, you know. Basically, you know, I'm doing this, I'm sharing this with you guys so that you have an idea of the kind of thing that targeted individuals go through. February 13th, 2019. Greetings. My name is Nisin R. Lopez. I'm a 43-year-old Cuban-American artist based in Miami, Florida. I am here today to denounce a hideous crime that is being perpetrated against me here in Miami, Florida. I'm talking about organized harassment sponsored by law enforcement and the intelligence community. Yes, I am a targeted individual, a victim of a secret, illegal, long-term, unconstitutional surveillance program designed to destroy every aspect of my life. You might be saying to yourself, what exactly is organized community harassment? Well, this is not easy to explain, of course. One could say that contract stalking is bullying on steroids. Organized stalking, covert harassment, or community-based mobbing is pretty much extrajudicial punishment, government retaliation. The targeted individual program is a multi-layered interagency program designed to destroy targeted individuals emotionally and psychologically through dark neuro-linguistic programming and negative aversive stimuli. We're talking here about a character assassination program, state-sponsored psychological terrorism. <clears throat> as far as the heavy, overwhelming, multi-layered harassment done to me every single time I go out into the general public, the unjust systematic harassment is done by a group of people in an organized fashion, using unethical means to torment, preoccupy, agitate, intimidate, and terrorize the isolated victim 24-7 no matter where he goes. I'm talking about community-based mobbing based on choice reference patterns. You know, for example, acts of provocation, rude behavior, choreographed street theater, noise campaigns, mimicking, verbal breakdown, invasion of space, engineered collisions, orchestrated synchronicities, entrapment, electronic harassment, etc. All kinds of horrible things. The targeted individual is exposed to a stressor outside the range of usual human experience. He is terrorized 365 days a year, 24-7. He is kept in a state of anxiety and hypervigilance until he finally breaks down after years of indescribable psychological abuse. Most victims of this program end up homeless, in jail, or in psychiatric institutions, discredited, with no support system, broken in spirit. The folks behind this torture program, they want the target to feel helpless. In fact, one thing that all target uh, in fact, one thing that all targeted individuals have in common is that sooner or later they are betrayed by those who are close to them. Family members and friends of the targeted individual are approached by the authorities. The cops tell them that the target is under investigation, that the target is mentally ill, and that the target is a threat to public safety. A false narrative. Relatives and friends, you know, the target uh, support system, you know, they are persuaded to, cooper to cooperate with the police. Some of them do it uh, willingly and some, um, some do it out of fear of retaliation. These people are compensated with money, you know, cash, you know, so that the transaction, uh, the transaction, uh, uh, the transaction cannot be traced. And with gift cards, you know. Their job is basically to expose the target to situational and conversational scenarios, hoping that the target will say something that can be used against them in a court of law. We're talking here about entrapment, you know, Stasi style. In my personal case, 
Ever since I've been a targeted individual, I've been stabbed in the back several times by, by people that were once close to me. There is a particular friend of mine that has been conspiring against me on behalf of the police for years. He calls me up and then he exposes me to conversational scenarios hoping that I say something that the cops can use against me to discredit me. He's been doing this crap for years. I ask myself, what did I ever do to this guy for him to betray me in such a way? How could he be so shameless? You know, I, I've never done shit to this guy. To the contrary, I've been a very loyal friend, but obviously this traitor has no morals. Every single time he calls me up, he talks about fucked up shit, hoping that I say, that I say something out of line. Here are some examples. He talks shit about people in my social circle. He does this hoping that I make some negative remarks concerning these individuals. Keep in mind that the police is, is recording these conversations. Then they're gonna go to those people and play them the call. The idea is to turn them against me in order to isolate me. He talks about serial killer glorification, hoping that I say something that will make me look like a sexually perverted, deranged psychopath. He talks about guns, hoping that I make some remark that could be used against me somehow. He mentions themes of pro-Nazi, anti-Jewish flavor, hoping that I say something that will make me look like an ignorant racist. He talks about anti-American themes, hoping that I say something that will make me sound like a socialist or something. He talks about sexual debauchery, hoping that I say something that would make me look like a freak. Not only this, on November 2018, this hypocrite teamed up with another hypocrite that has that had also been enlisted by the, by the police let's go ahead and call this person traitor number two they plotted and they schemed together hoping that they could get me to do something that the cops could use to arrest me sometime on november 4th 2018 my friend you know traitor number one you know he sent me a music file he wanted me to download it into my computer Somebody has sent him this file and somebody else has sent that file to that somebody. This is something that came from a third party. Who was this mysterious third party? Well, it is clear to me that my so-called friend wanted to link my email account to this stranger that has sent the file originally. He wanted to make it look as if I am in contact with this individual. Think about it. This somebody could be anyone. Around November 5th, 2018, his partner, you know, let's go ahead and call this person uh, trader number two. His partner asked me to do a painting for a promotional item. This person contacted me through social media, not by email. This individual, who happens to be a musician, you know, requested extremely graphic imagery for the covert art. I'm talking about gore, torture, sadism, and heavy sexual content. Something along the line of the death metal band Cannibal Corpse, you know. I knew from the very beginning that this person was working with, for the police, but I play stupid. The artwork was done on late November 2018. It was scanned and converted into a digital file. Trader number two then asked me to send the 300 DPI file to a specific email account, a fake email account, you know, a fabrication. What will happen, for example, if I send a sexually explicit file to the email account of a stranger by accident? You know, well, that person could call the police on me and accuse me of being a freak, you know. This is a, you know, 
Hi, is this the Miami Day Police? Yeah, I just got an email from some guy named Nisim Lopez. He sent me a very graphic, sexually explicit file. Very, very violent stuff. I don't know who this guy is, but this is unacceptable. And the worst part is that my 17-year-old daughter saw it. I stepped out of the computer for a second to answer the door. And when I came back to the room, I saw my daughter staring into the computer screen looking at this graphic image. I want this crazy person arrested. Can you guys help me, please? You know, this is the kind of shit that trader number two, you know, was trying to cause, you know? Basically, the criminal network known as the Miami-Dade Police, they could use that in order to land me on the news. Sexual pervert busted. You know, when you are a targeted individual, the cops go around in your social circle trying to brainwash everyone into believing that you, the targeted individual, are a sex offender, meaning a rapist or a child molester. Defamation is experienced by all targeted individuals. This is nothing new. So yeah, this informant of, of uh, InfraGuard flavor, trader number one, he was trying to link my email account to some stranger and I assume that the fake email account given to me by my other friend, trader number two, has something to do with this stranger. Very good teamwork. <laughs> this friend of mine from back in the days, trader number one, you know, he has been selling me out for a very long time. I guess he feels untouchable. It feels like he is shielded from legal culpability. I'm sure the cops told him something like this. Yeah, don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about anything. We got your back. <laughs> but what he doesn't know is that the targeted individual program, you know, is going to be shut down eventually. Sooner or later, this unconstitutional surveillance program is going to be exposed on national TV. Everyone in America is going to know that the folks in the fusion centers were conducting illegal surveillance operations designed to neutralize innocent, harmless, law-abiding citizens like myself. So, this friend of mine, this trader, you know, has been playing mind games with me for years, and he's made money out of my suffering. Well, I know his full name, I know his email address, I know his phone number, you know, every single time that the Miami-Dade police has called him, asking him to expose me to conversational scenarios, guess what? Those calls are registered in a database, a database that cannot be erased. Let's say, for example, the, folk, the folks that work in the Southeast Florida Fusion Center, you know, Miami-Dade Police Headquarters, you know, Homeland Security Bureau, you know, what are they going to do when the targeted individual program is fully exposed on national TV? Are they going to go out of the way in order to protect a snitch? No, they don't give a shit about them. They don't respect a snitch. When the program is fully unmasked, they're going to throw this guy in a psych ward so that he can be labeled as mentally unfit, his words no longer credible in a court of law. The folks in law enforcement they know that this trader can be easily blackmailed. They did them their homework before they recruited him. <laughs>